So according to HTC this morning, this is the super phone that everyone has been waiting for. It's the HTC Desire announced at Mobile World Congress this morning in Barcelona, one of three new handsets from HTC. So what's so super about this super phone? Well, let's start with the screen. It's 3.7 inches and it's OLED as well. So it's the same size screen as the Google Nexus One and pretty much the same form factor as well. As with the Legend, it's got this little optical track pad here instead of the trackball, which sometimes have been problematic on the HTC phones. And the design is very, very sleek indeed. It's a lovely step forward for HTC in this department. Now, it's also boasting the new Sense UI. We're all massive fans of that on phones like the Hero, but they've updated it here for the Desire and the Legend, the other phones that have been released today. So what's new on that? Well, probably the most important and the coolest thing is well, we've had problems with the HTC phones flicking through all our home screens. There's seven of them, so it's quite a mission to get where you want to be sometimes. That problem has been solved by a little bit of multi-touch. So if I pinch to zoom here, all of my home screens show up in one place, and they're calling that leap. I can just click on the one I want, and straight there. They've also added to the people widget a little bit. So instead of just having your favorite contacts, you can have them in uh, different sections now. So I've got VIPs and co-workers here as well but something that they've brought all together is that what they're calling the friend stream so we all have the little widgets for twitter and facebook on our heroes but now all that's been put into one place as i say it's called the friend stream so i can see all my tweets all my facebook updates and whenever people update their Flickr, if i could just click on friend stream there it takes me into a menu where i can see these all specifically so i've got all the updates there status updates, photos, and any links that have been posted by my friends. So if I just skip back one screen, there's also a really cool RSS widget for all your news as well. Now they've added a really cool word search functionality to the HTC Desire. If I can just open this up here, get onto t3.com. It's lightning fast because it's got a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor, the same one that's on the Google Nexus One. So you can see I've got t3.com loaded up here. So let's find a word to choose. Oh yeah, there's one, Android, that's a good enough one. So if I hold Android, let it go, and I get three options there. One is to copy, to copy the text, one is to send the URL to a friend, and this little magnifying glass is rather cool indeed. So if I just click on that, Then I have a Wikipedia page for that entry. I can also translate it into any language. And I can look it up in the dictionary as well. So that's very handy indeed. Now the phone is running Android 2.1, like the Legend that was also announced today. So that's Eclair. It's also got a five megapixel camera with a flash as well. And we just had a little play with it. And the results are far better than phones like the HTC Hero, which fell down a little bit on the camera. So, is this the super phone we've all been waiting for? It's the HTC Desire, and I'll be with us in April on all networks.